Hey everyone, welcome back to The Hidden Brick, where today we're going to do part one of the build of the Lego City Fire Station. This is set number 60110, 919 pieces. It is an enormous box for 919 pieces, but as you can tell from the picture, there's quite a few large pieces in this set. Um, and then on the back, there's a ton of different artwork showing all the play features, some little stuff you can do with some apps, and then kind of how it's going to be broken down into the build, how we're doing all the different combinations and sections of it. So, um, of course we have Dexter over here, making sure we do it right. He's our supervisor. Go ahead and uh, bust the seal open. Tilt this down. There's going to be a lot of contents in here. Big box. So uh, this was kind of cool. I like the Dalmatian dog. Can't say that I have a Dalmatian mini, mini Lego animal. Alright. There's our contents. We're slightly freaking Dexter out a little bit. So what do we got here? We have an unnumbered bag that has large elements in it. We have numbered bags. Here's bag eight, bag six, bag five, four. Put these on the ground out of the way. Bag seven. Trying to keep these in order. The order we're gonna do them. Uh, what do we have here? Bag nine. So that goes behind bag eight. Dang, there's a bag 10. Here's one, here's two, and here's bag three. So 10 numbered bags, the unnumbered bag. We have two of these fireman poles, and these are the little spiral version of them. You can kind of see as, as I turn them, you can see how it has that little spiral shape. Piece. So I'll move those to the side. Now our instruction books are nice and neatly kept in this little sealed bag, which I really enjoy the sets that send them like that because if you look, all the instruction books are in perfect condition. Nothing is all folded up or bent. Even the sticker sheet is all nice and straight. It's a very large sticker sheet, so if it would have been just in the box in transit, it would have been a, a, just a big mess in there. All right, <clears throat> so we're gonna begin with instruction book number one. It's gonna build a fire car, and looks like a few little minifigure accessory pieces. a few wheels and tires, which I'm going to go ahead and assemble now. Get them out of the way. And that way they don't roll away from me. Put fender pieces over there. Alright, we have a brick separator. And here's the Dalmatian dog. So this is what I was excited about getting. Nice little dog. Alright, so there's a small bag of parts that were in the big bag. Take those off to the side. So our first minifigure looks like it's the uh, the fire chief. He has the the suit on. He doesn't wear a you know fireman suit. He actually has a nice shirt and tie, but he has some communication device, the badge on his chest, and then he wears a gold fire helmet. So that's our chief. Put him over there with the dog. 
All right, so we need to grab out of the unnumbered bag the frame for this car. This is one of those random large pieces that they won't put in with the numbered bags for some reason. Let's see, this one will go here. Some trans red cheese slopes. arched kind of shape. And we get a sticker, sticker number 10. So the stickers are numbered, so we look for the number 10 sticker. It's a license plate. Attach that right there. Go ahead and put two fenders on. Modified plate with a bar, steering wheel, and then we have two red doors. Two more fenders. We have these modified plates with the little, I don't know, click hinge type element on one end. It's gonna act as the rear view mirrors. Side mirrors, I guess you'd call it. Alright, this is very similar to the one we built for the back, except it has the trans clear cheese slopes. It does have another license plate sticker on it. is a printed element. So it has a little fire station emblem on there. Now we have a breathing apparatus and air tank. So I guess this is the chief's if he has to strap something on to go into the fire. Or maybe it's an extra one. So this goes right here. Next we have the windscreens. There, right there. The roof. Our wheels and tires. number eight, which is a number 10. So that's vehicle number 10. Light bar goes there. 
And that completes the build of the chief's car. So pop the roof off, put him in there, pop the roof back on, and he's ready to go. Very cool looking car as well. All right, so that not only completes the car, it completes bag one, it completes instruction book number one. So now we are on to instruction book number two and bag number two. There's bag two. We have a couple small bags inside the big bag. those out, put this small bag out, alright, so we have a couple minifigures in this bag, first one is a firefighter, and this is a firefighter pilot. He has aviator glasses on. That's kind of interesting. I don't know if you can really see it or not, but there's like some sort of like speckle or sparkle printed on his glasses. <laughs> Helmet and a little windscreen visor type piece. Alright, so there's our fire helicopter pilot. Next minifigure is a hot dog stand chef. So he has a little chef torso and a lime green hat. So let's build the little hot dog stand. for bar piece. Now we have these tiny tires on a little wheel. And they do always give us an extra tire when they're this small. I guess these type of tires can get lost easily. over. So remember our little chef guy had the lime green hat. So maybe it's a tie-in to this lime green color on the uh, little hot dog stand. Double-wide bow shapes. These get stickers. Sticker number one and sticker number two. There's sticker one. Here is sticker number two. So it's a little menu. We have a three-dollar hot dog and a four-dollar chicken leg or turkey leg some sort of bird leg a 
couple modified plates with the clip on the side. White tile right there. So we have in here two sausages or hot dogs and we have the chicken leg. And do a mustard dispenser. You can go right there. And a ketchup dispenser. Go right there. is for the umbrella. Put that down. And then this is where the fire department is going to be needed. We're going to have this trans orange plate with two trans orange studs. And these are the newer style of studs that have the holes in the middle that you can insert a little bar. So we'll insert the bar end of this fire, and uh-oh, we have a, a fire at the hot dog stand. So that completes the hot dog stand that's on fire. Okay, put that there, move it off to the side. Next up is going to be the helicopter. So I wonder if the helicopter is going to be brought in to put out that little bitty hot dog stand fire. Or maybe we'll save it for the, the large fire truck to come in and take care of it. shapes. And a couple levers. To help control the helicopter. So we have this um, box, and inside of it we're going to put these trans light blue studs. So those basically are representing water. So this helicopter actually can fly by, open up this chute, and then all the little studs will fall out and drop the water. launcher and this is interesting this is the first set I've ever received that had the trigger piece already installed so it used to be you had to install that piece and they always give you an extra which you really didn't need because once this thing's on there it's really not coming off so I wonder if they're gonna start 
sending them out now with them already installed. That'd be nice. tricky to put on because they have to be lined up just right or else they don't quite go on that well. Alright, I managed to get those on okay. <clears throat> so this will go right here. slopes for emergency lights. Two headlight bricks back here. to that, that goes there, that's our, kind of our jet engine exhaust, the tile on there to help hold it on, we have our, oops, we have our landing skids, Let's see if I can, I guess it goes, uh, I'm going to put it on like that. It's real hard to tell how they have it in the instructions. If it's that one or if it's up one more. I think it looks like it fits better there. Alright, now we have our propeller element. front windscreen, take our fireman pilot, put him right there, drop this down. So um, this little box back here, I guess if you open it you can, <laughs> well you can't easily dump the, the studs out because they just kind of go everywhere. But you take one out and you can attach it to this this little stud launcher element right there and then you could shoot it and then you shoot it and it goes out and hits the fire knocks it off so that simulates putting out a fire so it kind of gives you a decent little play option alright so that completes the second instruction book and also completes bag number two so Go ahead and move on to bag number three. This is going to be the beginnings of 
the fire truck. So zoom out a bit. Let's see what's going on. We do have a small bag of parts. Instructions show we're going to need a couple pieces out of this unnumbered bag. These long black bricks. So we'll those two. Alright. We have a minifigure. Just a single one in this bag. It's another firefighter. This one is a actual Firefighter in his suit fighting the fire. He has a serious looking face, the sweat rolling down from his forehead. He has the breathing apparatus with the air tank. Firefighting helmet. He has a face mask and fire extinguisher he's not actually using a hose yet he's holding the fire extinguisher alright so that's the fireman minifigure for this bag <clears throat> We do have a string with a ball on the end. I've never really seen that assembly before. Let me uh, pull this out. So they put it on a piece of tape. You can see that little ball, ball end right there. Same kind of ball end that will connect to like a, like one of those mixel joints or some sort of ball stud launcher thing. All right, so let's begin building this fire truck. Start with what looks like in the instruction book like black, but it's actually a trans, I mean a uh, dark bluish gray. how large this vehicle is going to be. Very long. These two long bricks that we pulled out of that bag. Next we have two yellow plates. Modified plate with studs on the side. Two by three. Four of these fender elements. Click hinge type bricks. Okay. 
turntable plate goes right there. Just knocked over some minifigures. Way to go. Alright, we have two of these cabinets with doors on them. Be careful when you put these doors on to make sure the handle is facing outward. So I have done that accidentally, putting the handle facing inward, and uh, it makes it kind of hard to open the door. Another one door like that, and then we're gonna in drop these trans light blue studs in there, similar to the way we did on the helicopter. These are probably gonna be used to load a stud launcher. So we have this little uh, reel that we're going to slide this string in. This is the string that has the ball on the end. And then we're just going to tie a little knot at the end to hold it inside of the reel. So that's good. And then we're going to snap this in here. There's little pegs that this thing kind of snaps onto. I can kind of line it up just right. There we go. And then that little groove portion that's sticking out, you can see you can rotate it. See how it's pulling in the string. It's not very fast at all. Almost there. All right. So, see the little ball sticking out right there? This goes right there. And then we're going to attach the, pull this out a little bit, similar to the, um, the helicopter, this is one of those little stud launcher guns. It has the trigger already attached. So that's convenient to have that already on there. All right, let's continue the build. little steps to get up into the driver's cab. Now we have some plates and a modified plate with studs. Red tiles. Got a couple larger tiles. Turn this this way. 
few stickers. Start with sticker number nine. It's kind of like a warning stripe. And then we have sticker number 12, which is a license plate for the fire truck. Try to center that the best I can. That looks pretty good. That goes all the way back there. Now back towards the front. And these large six by six light bluish gray tiles. A one by four tile. And sticker number 13 times four. These are gonna border the long six by six or the square six by six tiles. Adds a nice detail to the fire truck. It looks like a uh, textured metal platform type thing. So when you're standing on there, it gives you a little bit of grip. We so don't slide off. A couple more tiles. Now we have. Four of these things. And these are the little supports, or that sometimes are called outriggers. Basically, something to help support the fire truck when it's lifting up the ladder or boom or whatever else is on here. Let's see if you put them down in this position. Let's see how it holds the, the fire truck up. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put them in the outward position because we haven't put wheels or tires on yet. So right now it's still sitting flat on the table. All right, so that completes bag number three and it's gonna complete to this portion of the build. So you can see what we've started with. We've got the helicopter. We've got the beginnings of the fire truck. We have a, a hot dog stand on fire. We have a fireman. We have the fire chief and his little chief car. And we have a Dalmatian, so a lot of stuff built already, and there's a lot more to come. So uh, make sure to subscribe, check out my other videos, don't miss part number two and part number three, and we will see you in the next one.